One of the things that I've always dreamed of is having a home theater in our basement. Now for our home theater, we're gonna have two rows of seats, one in the front and one in the back. But to make sure that the back seats can see over the front seats, we need to build this riser. Now since we're building on top of a concrete pad, we needed to make sure that any lumber that came into contact with that concrete was treated lumber. So what we did was we built two platforms and essentially they were two large rectangles, one for the front and one for the back and those were made out of two by six treated lumber. Then we attached each of those platforms to the walls to make sure that they were securely in place. Now we can come back and build the actual platform. The actual platform is gonna be made out of two by eights, untreated lumber, because they're not coming into contact with the concrete. Um, and then those joists are gonna be spaced 16 inches apart. The nice thing about having those square treated um, platforms below it is that the joists are laying right directly on top of those platforms, so we didn't need any, there was no need for joist hangers. And if you like videos like this and you wanna see more of them, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already and then ring the bell right beside it to make sure that you get notifications when any new videos come out. The other thing that we did was we actually recessed a step into the platform. So the top platform um, was actually notched out to accept that step. We set it back about 14 inches and then we have about a two foot wide step. Before we installed the subfloor on top of the platform, we wanted to make sure that we made it as soundproof as possible. And we did so with mineral wool insulation. It's a great soundproofing barrier. Um, we used some insulation supports to wedge those in between those studs and then set that um, soundproofing material in between each one of those joist bays just to make sure that any echo or any sound that got into this platform was deadened right away. Now it's time to install the subfloor. Before we could get started on that, we actually went ahead and put down some construction adhesive on those joists and all the way around on all of those mating surfaces that the subfloor would hit. We cut that down to size and then set that on top and screwed it down. That subfloor adhesive is very important because it takes out any squeaks within the floor. Now in order to make a sturdier platform, after we laid that first layer of OSB, we came back and we added another layer, but this time we sped, spread construction adhesive all over the first layer and then glued the second layer on top of that. And that's just gonna make for a nice sturdy platform and take out any vibrations when you're walking. Now the reason I went with two by sixes for the base or the original platform is that um, when you add those two layers of subfloor to that, it brings you up to a nice step height of seven inches. And then the two by eight platform uh, leaves your second step at seven and a quarter inches. Hold up, don't leave yet. Make sure you check out this video up here. YouTube really thinks you'll like it and I do too. But also, if you want more detail on this build and how to do it, I'm gonna have a written blog post right here. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so right here. Until next time, be safe and happy building.